Hey, how's it going? Dylan here, and uh, welcome to uh, Ocean System for Rendered Cinematics version uh, 2.5, which should be out right now on the Epic uh, Unreal Marketplace. So there's a few new features in this uh, version. It's not a major version update. Um, I'm still working on that really nice kind of foam vision I have. Unfortunately, that's not ready yet. I'm um, having some issues with that. But let's dive right into what's new uh, in version 2.5, which uh, is mainly uh, via requests that people have had, uh, most requested features of this um, little uh, material-based system, such blueprint-based system. So let's get right into it. So as you can see here, we're open on our Ocean Example um, uh, map, which is, comes with the plugin, just to, as an example. Obviously, last update was when we added single layer water support, so you have like the nice effect translucency here, etc. Now, one of the main things, that probably the main feature of this update is actually proper sequencer support for the waves. So if I open up, well, first off, if, I, if we open up uh, this custom time sequence here, as you can see, everything freezes and ignore the gaps here because this is on set on low quality just for performance while we have a look at what the look is and everything's frozen uh, but if I start to scroll here we have reliable uh, time-based kind of uh, attribute that we can key in the sequencer which means you can get the same result every time and you can kind of shift it so you would want either slower waves or even if you, there was a particular wave you liked over here if you wanted to bring it near the start of the shot, etc. It's a lot easier to do that now. But yeah, the main reason for this is consistency. Uh, it also means for motion blur and things, you have much more consistent result there. So essentially how it works is we have a look through the camera here. We can scroll through. And essentially here, what we have on the BP Ocean uh, blueprint, uh, we have a few new options. So if we come down under, there's a time section and sequence section. So we've got custom time enabled, which I've keyed in here in the sequencer. And then the time here is obviously what's actually being uh, keyed uh, to set the time of the actual waves. So that's really nice. Um, and then we've got also sequence camera. Now this is a new feature as well, uh, obviously for this type of thing, because before the generation of the um, level of detail for the planes that the blueprint lays out was only uh, accessible in real time. So you had to click play every time to preview what the quality would be like close to camera and how it faded away. See if you had any gaps and things like that. But now uh, I've actually tweaked that so that you can set a camera. Um, so if you set this, when you set this camera, Cine camera actor, because obviously this is for rendered cinematics, um, which you can also key in the sequencer, so it doesn't matter what cam like you can change your camera based on your shot. And essentially, that uh, shows you in the viewport without having to click play. The quality, um, like the high res, will be closer to the camera um, that you've selected, and it will fade off just as it will in the render. So you can get a nice preview of how it's going without having to enter play mode, which is pretty annoying, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, so super handy, uh, much requested feature, and very nice so, because it also means you can time things to the waves um, that happen in your sequences and cinematics. So another feature, second feature here, um, is actually uh, also a pretty well requested feature, and that's to be able to cut out sections of the ocean. Now at the moment, this is only limited to one section um, due to the way it's implemented, but I thought I wanted to get something out just to appease um, those customers in terms of and users, in terms of how like like to try and get them going with uh, an issue they're having. Now what this does, we have this little I am gizmo here, which is enabled. And if we select our BP Ocean, we head down to Cutout. Now Cutout position uh, is set via this thing, or you can set it manually here. Um, and then Cutout Radius. So if I set this to 100 or 1000, as you can see, we're getting a masked cutout of the ocean here. So essentially what this is handy for, select our position. I can move this around. For example, 
say we had a um, <clears throat> an island with a um, with a depression that needed to be lower than what the sea level was uh, in the version before obviously the sea would just cut right through whereas with this we can actually place this where we want it and kind of and set the radius to whatever we want to in order to cut out that section so you can have depressions or I guess like structures that go underwater with no water plane visible at the moment this is a sphere or a, yeah, a, um, a sphere mask that's doing this uh, but in the future I'm, I'm thinking of some ideas to actually have this to be able to use multiple uh, sections so it would be much more flexible but for now this is what we have another thing that I've added to this version is a little bit of breakup for the far foam on the far normal material um, so that there's uh, no longer a really badly visible tiling in especially when you're using kind of very apparent foam as you can see here the foam doesn't look like it's tiling now it's kind of a bit varied it's just using noise to break it up um, areas and you can actually control that uh, in the material um, up here so you know, under foam we've got the top option which is distant foam breakup scale and uh, and finally in this update uh, we also have um, an updated opaque material so before the only way to get to use opaque like non-translucent materials for this was to use the um, the old implementation with the old wave generation and such from version 1.0 uh, but now uh, we've actually got um, an emotion opaque instance so if I go ahead and use this which as you can see um, does perform a bit worse oddly enough uh, but this is the original kind of imp uh, implementation but with the new uh, like visual wise and shading wise but with the uh, new wave generation that's from version 2 um, so we get the nice foam and such on this one and it, the like I mean I know you, you might ask why would you use the opaque material over the single layer water version um, it doesn't quite look as good in some situations but other situations especially when rendering cinematics and you don't need translucency this actually ends up uh, needing less samples to look good in your render because of the way that the translucency is composited and things like that so um, you can get nicer quality render and obviously if you want like kind of more dirty water look and things like that then um, this is the way to go and even open ocean if you don't need anything to actually come into the ocean then you know you're set because um, a lot of people have said they do like the old one as well and i've seen people using the old uh, material so this kind of makes sense to do that so yeah that's about it for this update i hope you enjoy it um and yeah it's available now up on uh, epic unreal engine marketplace hope you enjoy and if you have any questions just hit me up you know on twitter or um, in the marketplace questions I uh, try to answer those I try to look at those at least once a week uh, sometimes I can't get to it because of work but um, every now and again I go through and answer you know them in blocks of about five uh, at a time or when I see them so yeah take care and enjoy <laughs>